What's going on guys? Nick here. How's everyone doing? Hopefully you're all having a wonderful day. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the channel if you're new here. Man, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos and actually been in front of the camera and not behind the camera. I mean, so long to the point that I made a huge rookie beginner continuity error that I'd like you guys to drop a comment down below if you can spot what I'm talking about, which I'm sure you all will instantly, but I digress. Uh, welcome back, guys. For all you that have stuck around through the last seven months that I've been absent from YouTube. I really appreciate it more than you'll probably ever know. I've just had a lot going on in my personal life that I just didn't feel I had enough time to put forth the amount of effort I really wanted to for these videos for you guys. But uh, I recently quit my nine to five job to pursue the whole video uh, production and photography thing, freelance, full time, as well as, you know, make these YouTube videos on the side for you. So needless to say, I should have plenty of time. So look forward to lots more videos to come. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll the intro and let's get to today's video. All right, guys, so I'm gonna stop rambling for you and let's just jump right into unboxing my brand new Biltwell Lane Splitter helmet. I went ahead and mounted my GoPro to my head mount here. That way we can get a better angle of the actual unboxing process. So let me throw this on my head real quick and uh, I will see you guys in the GoPro in one, two, three, Let's get this guy all situated. All right. Let's do this, guys. Super, super excited. If you couldn't tell already. This is some tough tape. Jeez. Thank you, Biltwell. All right, all right. I'm gonna stand up. This one. Throw that there. Got some documentation. Nice, nice, cool. We got uh, Biltwell motorcycle parts and other junk. Some stickers. Always love some cool stickers. Uh, bill of sale. We will cover up all of that stuff. We don't need that. And here is what we all came for, ladies and gentlemen. here pretty cool pretty cool little design not bad not bad all right let's see. I want to open this this was some ASMR of uh, opening boxes for you guys instruction manual on our brand new Biltwell Lane Splitter helmet. We'll throw that there. And, uh, let's see, I kind of wanted to keep this up here just because I think it looked cool. But I 
I think it's in my way. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, so I'm gonna sit back down. Go ahead, put our everyday carry pocket knife. Uh, today I am rocking the SOG Sideswipe. Love this knife, been using it for over a year now. The texture on the handle is awesome in the hand. It feels nice and sturdy, not gonna move around and go anywhere. This blade is, it's there, it's not going anywhere as well. I love the locking mechanism so I can lock it while it's out. I don't gotta worry about bumping, you know, the lever there and it folding in on me while I'm trying to cut something. And also, it works so when it's closed, it doesn't automatically deploy in your pocket because this is a self-assisting firing knife. So it's not like a switch blade where you just push a button and it pops out when the lock's off. You still have to hit the little thumb knob there. Not exactly sure what those are called, but uh, you push that and bam. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's get back to the helmet. Sorry, I'm always getting sidetracked. ADD, you know, it's a real thing. All right, how do we how do we open this? There we go. Here she is, guys. We also don't need that. The Biltwell Lane Splitter in gloss black in all her glory. And I gotta tell you, I do like it even more in person than the photos I've seen online. I just, I don't know, I'm a huge fan of the Simpson Outlaw Bandit. I'm not a big fan of the Simpson Ghost Bandit or the bandit mod like the only one i really liked was the street was decent and the outlaw was amazing and the reason being is the angle the visor sits so this has you know a pretty sloped angle on the visor which from what i hear helps with aerodynamics and whatnot i mean it just makes sense high speeds on highway whatever Whereas the Simpson Outlaw Bandit has a more, you know, 90 degree angle of the visor, which gives it a little more aggressive look, in my opinion. I'll go ahead and throw a picture of the Simpson Outlaw Bandit up right here. And these, these, can't even talk right now, guys. Sorry, I'm exhausted. I've been at work all day waiting to get home to do this unboxing for you guys. But uh, yeah, these are the helmets that are commonly compared with each other. And I gotta say, I am not disappointed with going with this Biltwell Lane Splitter over the Simpson Outlaw Bandit, not one bit. I haven't, you know, I haven't even put it on yet, you know? But the way it looks, very, very pleased. So let's go ahead and uh, what else we got going on here? So we can actually, hold, hold, hold. Covering up my light. I'm gonna start a fire and I don't want to scratch the helmet either. So we'll use this little handy cloth it came with. So it's got a nice heavy duty uh, strap here, and I like how it has this adjustable. Um, buckle for the whatever you want to call it you know how you always have that extra slack after you tighten your helmet of you know the tighten down part you put it through the d-rings and a lot of helmets come with a little snap to put on there but the snap is you know permanent it's sewn in place so sometimes depending on how tight you have to tighten the helmet you end up with this giant goofy loop looking situation whereas um, I don't know if you guys can see better on the GoPro or let's see if I can get it on the Sony, but you can see that uh, this adjusts so you can move this 
side to side. That way you don't have that giant loop and you can kind of make it a tighter loop if that's what you're into. I mean, not saying that's a necessity or whatever, but I do like that's a, that's a neat little feature there. So let's see, let's go ahead and open this bad girl up here. scratch it already pretty rough in my helmets not gonna lie so this is a first me putting down this uh, whatever you want to call this little bag to try not and scratch it but uh, I really like this helmet so that that means something it also came with I'm not quite sure what this is it says built well on it is this going to be the helmet bag awesome okay I was, I was getting a little, little disappointed there. I was like, we got a cool box. It's got some cool designs. The packaging was great, but uh, where am I supposed to put this thing when I'm not wearing it? So I am excited to see this cool little bag with some, some what is that? No, that's just, that's just an iron-on logo there. I thought it was embroidered at first. I was gonna say that's pretty fancy, but just ironed on, but still nice, still nice. And uh, we have a, you know, drawstring, tighten it up. I do wish it had one of the little thumb tighteners to keep it tight when the helmet's in there so you don't have to tie a knot in it every time. But, you know, whatever, I digress. That's just a little teeny detail that you might want to think about on newer designs built well. Let's see what else. So we also have a nice little chin skirt here. And from what I've heard, it's pretty easily removed. Looks like it just kinda, kinda pulls out there. We'll leave it in for now. We'll read the directions for once on how that's properly removed. But I do know from reading online that the liner is all completely removable. So after you get all hot and sweaty, nice and juicy up in there on a summer day, you can go ahead and pull it out and wash it or even buy a second one to throw in there while, you know, your other one's in the wash, whatever you want. But that is a pretty cool feature that Biltwell offers. Um, let's see, what else do we got going on here? That's pretty much it for the inside. I mean, this isn't a super flashy, full of bells and whistles helmet. This is pretty bare bones, bowling ball style, you know, kind of helmet. That's, that's another thing I didn't mention when I was talking about the slant in the visor compared to the Simpson Outlaw Bandit. One other, you know, I, there's a lot of major design differences, but another big one is this exit vent on the back. The Simpson Outlaw Bandit has, like I just said, that clean bowling ball look. So there's no concaved edges or anything on the back side of the helmet. It's just completely round, which means there's no vents or anything either. I haven't heard any issues with the Outlaw Bandit with, you know, cooling issues, but that's just something to keep in mind. This Biltwell Lane Splitter actually has a rear exhaust vent. So even though you're only getting the three front vents, and from what I've heard and seen on all the other reviews of this helmet online, that they do let in tons of air, almost to the point to where you need to block them off and on a cold or windy day, wind, wind, windy day, you might want to consider, you know, even wearing a face mask because your lips tend to get chapped and face kind of dried out there. That means it's letting in, you know, a decent amount of air and with the visor closed, once all the airflow and physics start happening inside the cranium of this bucket here, your exhaust port should function and this helmet should keep you nice and cool in theory. I do live in Phoenix, Arizona, so trust me, that is something we are going to be testing and that is how well this helmet works during the summer. I think today it was 108 already. So tomorrow, I think forecast at 108, 109. So 
We'll be testing this during the day. It's it's nighttime right now, so not gonna be able to take the bike out with the helmet on tonight. We're gonna have to wait till the morning. Sad, sad, I know, but we'll get better footage during the day. So the things I do for you, the sacrifices I make for you folks. All right, so nice little locking detent there. Keep the helmet, you know, the visor nice and secure while you're riding and you know it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, let's see, and pop it up there. And then there's the first detent. We got the second and it looks like the third wide open. And they seem to be pretty stiff. I mean, it might need some adjusting. You guys do know that the sides of the helmet where your visors usually connect to the helmet most helmets have either a screw, a quick, quick, like, oh my God. We need to just get through this video, guys. A quick release, what have you. And you can usually tighten them down a little bit. So if your visor's loose and the wind's, you know, blowing it shut, blowing it up while you're riding, you feel like the detents just aren't working as they should, go ahead and look at tightening you know, your visor there, that usually solves the issue and you don't have to worry about the hassle of a warranty claim and just all that nonsense. And it looks like we have, uh, back to the visor here, we've got some nice sealing around the face and nose area uh, to hopefully keep that wind down, you know, weather sealing as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm really digging this helmet so far. And that's about it, guys. It's DOT and ECE uh, rated, so it is legal in both the United States and Europe. Um, other than that, guys, uh, I don't really have anything else to say other than to let's throw this bucket on and take it for a test drive. But sadly, like I just said, gonna have to wait till the morning so how about we do some movie magic here and uh i'm gonna go ahead and let's see what can we do i'm gonna spin around in my chair three times and uh i'll see you guys outside tomorrow so we're just gonna kind of time travel here ready all right let's see let's see i got this you got this nick you got this all right so Oh, hold on, hold on, boxes are in the way. One, two, I can't count, three. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed watching that unboxing. And I really hate to do this to you, but if you want to see my first ride and thoughts and opinions of the Biltwell Lane Splitter Helmet, you're going to have to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, make sure to hit that bell icon, turn on all notifications so you won't miss the video in a couple of days. And while you're down there, I'd love for you to leave a comment on what brain bucket you're rocking right now or plan on getting in the near future. And thanks again for hanging out, guys. I will see all you in the next video. Peace.